So guys, welcome back. This is Val. In today's video, I'm going to cover how to render a fog effect very, very quickly. It's the fastest way to create fog effects in DAS or any type of software for the matter. But it's not the kind of fog you see here. So this is my latest set, which will come to DAS soon, called Desert Temple Ruins. And it uses a combination of two specific effects. One is the quick fog effect and one is the kind of ground uh, fog effect here. And uh, the thing is, um, I'm gonna strip this scene down just so we can, you know, just have a few uh, basic elements, right? And then I'm gonna show you how this works. So I'm gonna turn off. Let's remove that. I'll remove all that stuff we don't need and so it's very very quick to render and just showcase what's going on all right so I'm gonna turn off the fog effect now in Taz which is the ground fog effect right and as you can see something is now going on I have these items appear to be in fog, right? But they are not. There is no fog on them whatsoever. So here's the thing. Uh, when we are, you know, having items that are distant and away from the camera, we can easily uh, apply a fake fog effect. So let me just drag them down a little bit here so we can just have them um, we no longer have the rest of the environment, so they look a little bit funky, right? So here's how this works. We have three elements here, right? Three elements that have, I can actually remove this one on the right. We don't need so many of them. And we have this distant one here, right? And let's just do a normal, typical dash sky here. And we're gonna be doing, yeah, let's just go with that. It doesn't really matter. We are not winning any Oscars here, right? This is just a quick, quick setup, so to speak. And so how is it possible that we have these without any fog? They do look like it's instant fog, right? And because there is no fog, they are super, super, super quick to render. I mean, as you can see, they render instantly, right? There is no fog on them uh, whatsoever. So the secret is in emission levels, right? And if you click on this one, it's an item. If you look at the scene from the top, you can see that we have our base ground over here. And then we got these two over here and this one over here. Now, um, they obviously need to be uh, spaced out and at a distance so that you get that parallax effect, right? This is called parallax effect. Um, still remember to this day, I was playing the, the, the kind of uh, arcade game called Shoplifter. It was a helicopter, you know, you were in a war zone and you were picking up people, right? And you had that parallax scroll effect that side scrolling i still remember that to this day it was back in the 80s so thing is that particular mountain has a setting of here color and then a setting of 8000 if i remove it it's gonna look like it does from scratch right now um how much you need depends on how far away you want them to appear to be and the color you should use is frankly the color of you know, haze or, or distant kind of um, horizon but in most cases outdoors something blue tinted right and so if i move this to 4000 they will magically appear as closer 
because we don't no longer perceive them as being super in, in far, right? We perceive this one as super distant, but suddenly these are not um, as distant because we have a lower um, fog level, so to speak. Now I increase that to 8,000 and we perceive them as further away immediately. So this one here, which is the one furthest away from the camera, is, um, uh, and by the way, when you have distant items, you can easily, you know, space them out and make them, you know, like, like that, right? And I, I believe even this one doesn't have any texture because it's so distant. You see, I don't even, I didn't even apply texture on it, right? But it has 20,000 uh, luminous value, right? So, um, you can make it almost disappear by increasing this. 30,000, super distant. Now here's a problem. As you increase this value, eventually you will uh, get them to be brighter uh, than the sky, right? At certain level, they will just become brighter than the sky. And that's not what you want. You want to have the feel that the sky is always behind, right? So don't go overboard, don't go brighter than the background, the, the, the sky is so big, right? And there you have it. So uh, the items that are equally distant to the center uh, of your scene uh, should have the same amount of uh, emission, right? Um, and then you can build and, and scale this and create a depth effect. And then as you render this now, you see it's instant, it's no overhead, there's no settings here that slow down rendering and just looks like a, a well, real fog effect, right? And it works well. So um, the, the other thing you need to be aware of is that sometimes you can also control, to some extent, how these items look like by the main color. So if you click here and see that one is pretty down, it has a texture also applied, right? But if I scale this up quite a bit, it becomes way too bright and it looks almost like an ice sculpture, right? So that, that doesn't work really well in this case. So you need items that are further away, kind of toned down a little bit as far as texture goes. You don't want to see so much detail on them, right? You can frankly remove the texture on them entirely Skip texture, right? It goes even faster to render. And that still works because you don't see the, the, the detail. You don't need that detail, right? If you need them with more red, uh, uh, kind of a rock uh, color to, to, to start with, you can do that, right? You can apply a, a uh, brown tone to, to uh, as a ground, so to speak. So there we have it distant items with different emission levels and you can use them without textures now we can also scale this easily right um, these items can be easily scaled so you can uh, stretch them scale them on just one axis you can rotate them right so these are very easy to just populate you know the back of your scenes whether you have buildings or if you have rocks so buildings and rocks will work well for this. And this works perfect in animation because it's instant. There is no additional fog. So guys, that's all for today's video. I found video animations. See you soon again.